I'm Shuman Mitra, one of the consultant anaesthetists in SPG Gwinnett. Um, I also have other roles outside my day job um, as a, I'm the chairman of the basics uh, group in North Wales, which are a group of doctors who attend emergencies when called by the ambulance service. So I work quite closely with the ambulance service um, as part of my you know, outside day job kind of thing. Um, I also am a deputy program director for the pre-hospital emergency medicine, the subspecialty in Wales, which means that uh, doctors apply and have a one-year um, training outside the hospital to understand what the pre-hospital medicine is like. So I think um, I found a, a perfect place and with my uh, experience and what I do um, to connect that with the medical student uh, uh, projects and, uh, and training. Um, and over the last uh, six years, I have been running student projects in North Wales. Um, and it's a fantastic opportunity for students to come and see what the pre-hospital emergency medicine is like. They work outside the hospital. They also work inside the hospital to get to know how the um, uh, the whole emergency system works. So the projects uh, that I run uh, is uh, where they uh, get used to using simulation, um, so you, can, you know mannequins. They learn the hardware, um, they learn the software, they learn how to run a simulation scenario, they also learn um, about human factors things that comes in our way when we are trying to treat patients both inside and outside hospital. And then they take that outside and work alongside ambulance service as well as other services, particularly fire and rescue. And we have been able to do fantastic job uh, work uh, in, in North Wales uh, with, uh, uh, with, with the students over the last few years. We've done work in um, fire and rescue um, stations uh, alongside uh, the, uh, the team over there. Um, we have worked in uh, places like the Denorwick uh, um, Electric Mountain and the power station. We have worked uh, in different spots across North Wales. Because the thing about, about this part of the country is it's, it is rural. But it's also um, it's, it's got a huge amount of uh, you know outside uh, area. Uh, we've got mountains, we've got the sea, we've got uh, you know open roads, country roads, open fields. So you can actually um, go and play anywhere you want, and it's a, such a fantastic opportunity for young doctors who are coming out or, or going through medical school to understand that medicine is not just about treating patients inside the hospital. It is about you know what they are like at home, what they are like by the side of the road, when they are in their cars, and understanding that medicine starts right in the, at the spot when something really bad happens. Projects like these uh, don't come around that often. There's only a few places in UK that has projects like this, to be honest. I mean, I know you know there are student pre-hospital um, societies or, or groups across uh, UK in some parts, particularly in London. Um, but to run projects like this, it doesn't come across that often. And I think we have got the ideal uh, ingredients in North Wales, around uh, particularly in the Northwest Wales, to run things like this, and it has been immensely successful because uh, over the last six years, the students who have run projects with me, um, they have uh, produced uh, data and uh, either a poster or a presentation that they have taken to national conferences, that they have taken to international conferences. Uh, a student, my previous student from 2015, went all the way to Australia to present his project. Um, and, and there are more and more opportunities coming up because as uh, over the last few years people have come to know that these kind of projects run. So the ambulance services are quite keen as well to, to take that on board. Fire and rescue services are keen as well. So we have got the collaboration already running. Um, and it's, 
I think as far as uh, the medical training is concerned for, for junior doctors, it gives a very wholesome uh, knowledge as well as skill, as well as um, the right attitude towards what their patients are going to be like when they do become doctors and they see ill patients. And I think when they do projects like these over here, uh, they have got a better understanding of the basic requirements of what the, uh, uh, you know, the treatment and the management of these illnesses. And it can be going from uh, a simple illness like a asthma or epilepsy or something or all the way to a multiple vehicle car crash that needs an hour, an hour and a half to release the patients. Uh, and they end up understanding the whole spectrum. Uh, and it enhances their own skills uh, and they take that forward into their own medical education and come out at the other end more of a, of a, of a rounded person as a doctor. I think, um, you know, I didn't train in, in, in Wales um, but um, I used to come to holidays, uh, for holidays in North Wales and I found this place to be a, a perfect um, place to, to come and live. Um, there's so much outdoor facilities around here um, and I think in, in my um, profession this is an ideal spot to both uh, help the community as a pre-hospital doctor but also help the medical students understand the pre-hospital medicine. Um, by doing these projects that's what I'm trying to do. And, uh, and as, a, as, a, as a small part of it is also letting other, uh, you know, other uh, junior doctors know that um, North West Wales is a fantastic place to, to live and work. Um, it's, it's friendly, it's open air, and we have got the facility to continue their medical education and make it better.